two people could have identical average scores across a test battery, but vastly different patterns. That second person with that huge variability, they are basically showing signs of cognitive vulnerability that traditional scoring completely misses. And this isn't just a psychological measure. Dr. Bengen's group has shown that high IIV correlates with actual brain pathology, the physical changes in brain structure and function that underlie Alzheimer's disease and dementia. She didn't just show that IIV correlates with pathology, she showed that it predicts future decline. So we found that higher baseline IIV predicted faster decline among amyloid um, positive versus amyloid negative across all of our measures. This is really fascinating, right? If you're amyloid negative, basically no protein deposits, high IIV doesn't predict much. But if you're amyloid positive, high IIV at baseline predicts steep decline in both cognitive tests and daily functioning over the next three years. 